Hi friends, it's Holly Jones from Mrs. Jones Stitches. Welcome to Floss Tube number 18. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023, and I am so happy you're with me today. Um, it's been a while since I did a floss tube. I've kind of had a lot going on between kid stuff and um, applying for jobs, which um, I start a new job here in the next uh, couple weeks, hopefully. And um, let's see what else. My mother-in-law moved in with us. Um, I live in Oklahoma, and we had a tornado about, it'll be two weeks ago tomorrow, and it devastated her home and the um, the home that my brother-in-law and his family lived in. So, um, so temporarily, we've moved her in with us while she rebuilds her house. So I am so grateful to have her here. I'm so grateful for storm shelters and that everybody was safe. Um, and my mother-in-law is a delight, and I'm so glad she's here with us. I love having another girl in the house um, because we both like to watch Dateline, and um, I can usually get her to watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette with me too. So I'm looking forward to her being here for the next few months, and um, all is well. All right, so we'll hop in and get started. Um, Mania, Stitch Mania is going on right now, and I've really enjoyed seeing um, everybody's plans and um, and what they're gonna do for the month. One thing I really like about Mania is that you can really make it your own. I think initially people started doing, years ago, 31 starts, a new start every day for the month of May. For me, that is incredibly overwhelming. I don't like that, having that many whips. So what I did last year, last year was my first year to participate in Mania and I focused on one large piece, and I stitched Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird Designs. And it was pretty large, but I worked on it the whole month and I got it done. So this month, um, or this year for Mania, I decided I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted to focus on one larger piece, and I was torn with what I wanted to focus on, but I finally decided to do the Needleworker Sampler by Brenda Gervais. And I've seen this um, not super recently on Instagram, but I was just kind of browsing one day and I typed in like Brenda Gervais, or I can't remember if I typed in Brenda Gervais or with thy needle and thread, and I saw this pattern and it was stunning. So I immediately knew that I wanted to stitch it and that that was gonna be my mania start. The stitch count on this is 146 by 242. Um, so not super big. Um, I think the actual stitched area was like 9 by 15. So, but you know, a larger piece. I did pull all of my own colors. These are all from Color and Cotton, and I'd be happy to show them to you. There we go. So you can kind of see the palette that I'm using. And let me tell you the names. This is Violin. This is from the Floss of the Month Club, the Primitive uh, Club um, from April. We have Bonfire, which is a really pretty orangey red. Primrose. Next is Peach Rose. Toasted Marshmallow, which is a Floss of the Month from, looks like February 2023. And that's one thing I do on my Color and Cotton, uh, what comes in a monthly club is I put FOTM, so Floss of the Month, February 23. And that way I know um, when I got it and what, you know, club it was from. Creeping Vines, Pine Needles, Almond Latte, Pine Cone, and my white is just raw linen. So that is my color palette for this piece. And I'll show you where I'm at. And I'm not going to take it out of the hoop because I am still stitching on it right now. But this is how far I've gotten. Now, it is important to let you know, um, I'm currently staying home. I'm not working. So I have worked on that a lot. Yesterday, I think I spent about seven or eight hours on it. I dropped off my son at the babysitter. And I came home and stitched all day. My husband was at the fire station last night, so I stitched all evening on it as well. So I've put a lot of time into that. So I know that I'm a little bit further ahead from where, you know, most people would be on day two, but um, 
you know, adjust your expectations. Um, I have a lot of free time right now, so I've been able to, you know, get a lot of work in on it. And um, to be fully transparent, I started it on Saturday night. Um, I didn't get a whole lot in. I think I just got like a couple, I think I got the little, um, this lady and these two um, kind of flower things right here done on Saturday because I was just itching to start it and just make sure that I liked the colors and make sure I liked the linen. This linen is also color and cotton. It is Heritage Lace, which was the December 2022 um, neutral fabric of the month. Um, I don't think she has any more in stock on her website or anything like that, but it's just a really pretty um, neutral. So that is my mania plan. My other mania plan, so I am spending most of my time working on um, Needleworkers Sampler, but I'm also hosting a sal, and it is the Raindrop Kisses sal from Primrose Cottage. Um, if you'd like to participate in this, it kicks off uh, April, not April, sorry, May the 8th. Um, we're gonna use the hashtag PCS Raindrop Kisses, and um, and I'd love to have you join us. So this is the pattern. It's available on the Primrose Cottage website. Um, I think it uses nine different DMC colors. And if you've never purchased one of their charts, their charts are great. They are in full color. They're very large, easy to read. So you will not have a problem with this. Um, let me show you my floss and fabric choices for this. I just love these. Okay, my fabric that I'm using is 32 count Splash Mint Lugana. It is a really pretty pale, kind of minty blue. And my floss is color and cotton. And those are my floss colors. And I will share these with you. Uh, Pearl White, Santa's Boots, which is uh, December 2022, Floss of the Month. Petal Pink. Uh, I'm using Classic Colorworks, Pumpkin Harvest. Color and Cotton Marigold. And in my last video, I talked about this. This mirror gold is more of a soft butter yellow. If you go on Color and Cotton's website right now and you order marigold, your color is going to be more golden. Um, she uh, had said that she had forgot she used the name. So if you order marigold, it's going to be more gold gold. Um, you might just find your favorite like soft butter yellow and sub it out. Then I have avocado. Verdetta Blue, Verdita, that's how, I don't know how to say it, that's what it looks like. And then my DMC is 3811, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have to substitute this because it is really, really close to my fabric color. So there's a high probability I'm probably not going to use this one. And honestly, the orange I wanted to use is um, Baby Carrots from Color & Cotton. And I think I just misplaced it. I cannot find my baby carrots. So um, pumpkin harvest is what I subbed out, but I'm gonna keep looking because I do like to use all color and cotton if I can. But if I cannot find it, then I will use pumpkin harvest instead of baby carrots. So once again, here is my color palette. And where did I put that pattern? Oh, here it is. Here we go. So there we are. Um, also important to note, I'm channeling my inter, my inner, uh, fanciful flamingo today. I decided that for my floss tube, I was going to dress up and wear a floral blouse, um, because I love Alicia so much. And if you do not follow her, you need to go give her a watch. She's on Instagram and floss tube as the fanciful flamingo and it's the dot fanciful flamingo. And she is doing a floss tube a day in the month of May, which is an incredible idea. I love everything about it. Um, her floss tube a day, they're about five to 10 minutes. Um, just a quick pop in to talk about her mania progress and what she's working on. But um, 
I applaud her because there is no way I would have time to do a floss tube a day and she is killing it. So Alicia, I wore my cutest floral top for you and I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait to uh, see your smiling face every day. Okay, a couple more things. A couple um, stitch alongs I'm participating in right now. Um, Stitcher's Garden uh, by Tiny Modernist. It is hosted by Jody from Simply Stitching Ocala and Linda, Stitchy Linda. And to participate, you can use the hashtag Stitcher's Garden Sal, and you can also use the hashtag Brick City Stitcher's Sal. I have all my notes right here. Um, so anyway, um, Emily from Primrose and I curated a color and cotton floss palette to go with the pattern. So if you're not familiar, here's the pattern right here. I did a color conversion. I'm stitching mine on 32 count Ren by Picture This Plus using the color and cotton color palette that Emily and I curated together. And here is my progress. I do have a little bit more to go. I need to do the picket fits at the bottom. I need to do um, the spool and tomato over here on this side and then Stitcher's Garden at the top and then the two buttons and thimble over here. But I am really happy with how this is turning out. Um, one thing I will note, I do not like back stitching. Um, I just, I don't enjoy doing it at all. So a modification I'm going to make, um, I'm still gonna do the needle with the little, you know, X's here. I'm gonna do the safety pins, but I'm not doing the words. Um, I just, I have no desire to do those. I think they're super cute. I think, you know, they add to the pattern, um, but I'm going to leave mine out. So, um, so yeah, I love it. Okay. What else do I have that I'm working on? Um, my Americana Red. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, I am at Mrs. Jones Stitches, and you should have seen my um, Americana Red disaster that um, happened to me. I guess now it was a couple weeks ago. I think I shared the picture last week, but um, I have a three-year-old and I had gotten up off the couch and I set my stitching down on the coffee table and I ran to the kitchen and when I came back, my son had scissors in his hand and absolutely shredded my um, floss that I was using. Of course, it was color cotton. Of course, it was special edition. Of course, it sold out on the website. So um, after a minor meltdown uh, by me, um, I was like, I need to finish this piece and I don't have the fabric or the floss that I need. So I was able to sub out um, Mountain Mist by Gentle Arts and it was a pretty spot on match. It is um, maybe just a slight, slight bit darker. Um, I will say after um, stitching with it some more, I did realize that I did not measure appropriately when I cut my fabric and so my piece a fabric is not big enough for my stitching now. So I have decided to um, stop it where I'm at and I will um, end up just turning it into like a small pillow or something. Um, Cause I did get some, I got about half of the top row done um, before I realized that my fabric was not going to be large enough. So I'm gonna stop and just um, turn it into a small pillow finish and put it in a dough bowl because um, if I can't stitch it the entire way that I want it, I don't want to waste more time on it. Um, I'm just gonna call it call it good, and um, and maybe I'll restart the whole piece um, another time. But um, I was kind of bummed with the way it ended, and um, yeah, I don't really have much more to say about that. Um, so um, in lieu of that uh, stitching tragedy, I did do a new start last week, and. I really wanted to hop on the patriotic stitching bandwagon and I decided to do American Eagle right here from the Sweet Land of Liberty book by Blackbird Designs. Um, I'm doing a color conversion. Here's the chart, just a little bit bigger if you'd like to see it. Um, it's really lovely. Um, finish size is showing five and seven eighths by seven and one eighth. Stitch count is 93 by 114. And Here's my piece. I love it. Um, I'm trying to remember what this fabric is. I wanna say this is 
Ren or Bramble. Uh, it's probably Bramble from Picture This Plus. Anyway, I love it. My floss colors that I'm using are beautiful. It's just a really patriotic kind of Americana palette. Not super bright, not super dark. Um, the colors I'm using are Old Lace from Color and Cotton, Old Brick, Winterberry, Primitive Vines, Tambourine from the Floss of the Month, April 2023. Chimney Sweep, which is my favorite like charcoal black color. Bracken, which is kind of a gray green, which I use this for the roof. And um, Natural Cotton. So those were my flosses for that. Hopefully I can have this done. My goal is if I get Needlework Sampler done um, before the end of May to work on this the rest of the month, um, but only after I get the Needleworker Sampler done. Okay, um, my last stitch along that I've been participating in is Hive Rules, um, hosted by Denise Nisi Stitches. There is a Facebook group you can join if you'd like to participate. And so basically they're taking the Primrose Cottage Hive Rules chart and they're stitching one section a month. Um, I want to say it started in March, so it should end I think in September or October. Um, so this was the first part. I decided to break mine up and instead of stitching in one long piece that I was going to do mine in small pillows for a bead doble. So uh, the first part was hive rules here. I did take the bottom border and I also added it to the top because I kind of figured since this was like the first pillow, I wanted it to look um, kind of more complete and have a frame on the top and bottom. So for the second one, it was be sweet like honey. And what I did this time was I added a little bit of extra fabric so it sits up a little higher in the dough bowl. And I did that because this one is gonna sit kind of right in front of it in the bowl. And I did not want um, to not be able to see the, the second one. So I kind of added a little bit of height so that even when all the pillows are kind of stacked in the bowl that you can still read what they say and you don't have to like touch the pillows. Um, so I finished that. Um, I'm ready to work on the third month or the third section, but since I'm doing mania, I'm probably gonna wait and either see if I can add that at the end of the month or do two sections for June. Okay, let me talk about, um, I have a couple FFOs to share with you today. And this is one, I actually stitched this. This is um, Chalk Full by, uh, Hip Hop Chalk Full by Hands On Design. I actually stitched the bigger piece a couple years ago and um, I went back and stitched the little small bonus chart um, a couple days before Easter. I finished it into a pillow and on the back, this is like a, a flannel um, and it has these cute little carrots on it. Um, but I finished this for my tiered tray and my tiered tray in the living room is really um, special. My husband for Christmas, my birthday is a couple days before Christmas, but he um, got me one of those like five feet, five foot tall like tiered trays, and I love decorating it for each season. So I stitched this in about a day or two and just finished it um, a couple days before Easter. That way it could go on the tiered tray, and I love it. Um, I also finished the Itch to Stitch. This is by October House, and I finished this. Um, maybe last week. I kind of just whipped this out pretty quick. Um, I love Bonnie and Camille fabric and when I saw this fabric I knew that I wanted to do something that would accentuate the fabric. So I pulled out the Itch to Stitch um, which I got um, as part of my market releases and I color matched color and cotton flosses to the fabric. So all the flosses um, that I used coordinate with the fabric perfectly and I turned it into this cute little pillow which this seems to be my new little finish lately, you know, with the stitching on top and the fabric on bottom. Now that I look at it, they're kind of all like that, but um, it's okay. Um, so anyway, I finished this. Here's what the back, whoops, here's what the back looks like. And I love this like Baker's Twine. I got this at Hobby Lobby and I actually have several. I have, you know, there's a red and white right here. 
I have um, an aqua, an aqua and white right here, and then um, I have black and white and stuff like that. So it is so versatile. You can really do a whole lot of stuff with this. So um, this is another finish of mine, and then, oh gosh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Um, I was talking in my last video, I think, about how much I love the Christmas quilt pattern from Primrose Cottage. It's such a versatile pattern. In my previous video, you'll see a finish I did where I took um, the brighter yellow and the brighter turquoise from Hive Rules and I stitched um, the Christmas quilt in coordinating Hive Rules colors to go in my bead double. So it is getting to be close to summertime, so I went ahead and did a patriotic one, and I did mine a little bit different. This is on 32 Count Ale by Picture This Plus. I used Winterberry from Color and Cotton along with Deep Sea from Color and Cotton, and then one thing I did different was I added the white. So these little hearts right in here um, on the original chart are the same color as the lattice work, so they're the same color as the blue. And I went ahead and added the white um, just so it was red, white, and blue, and it just kind of gave it a little something extra. So this is my patriotic one. Um, on the back, I have a really pretty navy blue. Um, I want to say this is probably a Lori Holt fabric, but um, I really love how this turned out. So I do need to stuff it and um, sew it shut, but I was really happy with how this turned out. Okay. And I have one more thing to show, and I don't have it here. So give me one second, and I'll be right back. Okay, friends. Now, my last FFO, um, I don't think I had this done in my last video, but if I did, forgive me, and you can just see it again, but I'm pretty sure I did not. Um, I fully finished A Token of Love by Blackbird Designs. This was in the, um, was it, is it Winds of Autumn? It was in the book that came out this last fall and I stitched this. This is on 32 Count Bramble by Picture This Plus. I did use all color and cotton colors, which if you go on my Instagram, you can see a list of all the colors I used and I love this. I think this is so pretty. And one thing I really like is the frame here. You know, you have acorns right here in this border and I feel like the frame with this carving here, looks like little acorns. Um, I just loved it. It was so fun to stitch. It actually stitched up pretty quick. I wanna say I worked on it for maybe like 10 days, 10 days to two weeks, something like that. Um, but I could not be happier with how this turned out. It was just delightful to stitch and everything lined up perfectly. You know, I feel like normally whenever I stitch something, at least something bigger, um, I usually have some place where like I miscounted or something doesn't add up and you know normally I just kind of fudge it and move on because I'm not a fan of ripping out my stitches um, which I really don't know who is but um, I can usually fudge it and there was there were no errors on this and I was so proud <laughs> so anyway I wanted to make sure I shared that with you today um, I think I think that might be all I have this time. Um, one thing I did want to mention, um, Color and Cotton is opening their brick and mortar store. It will open May 20th and 21st um, in St. Louis and I'm going to do my best to go out there and be there for their grand opening. I'm so excited for Angela and her team. I've been a long time um, Color and Cotton fan and um, it's my favorite stuff to stitch with and to stitch on. So. I am really excited about visiting her store. It's actually gonna be a full service needle workshop, so she'll have charts and floss and fabric and all the things. So um, Angela, congratulations. I'm really excited for you and I cannot wait to come out and see your beautiful store. And um, oh, you know what, I have a little bit of haul. Not a ton, but a lot, or not a ton, but a little bit. So um, we'll do that and then we'll wrap this video up. Um, I was able to find the wooden frame circles um, from Hobby Lobby. And if you haven't seen these, um, Java Girl Stitches did a little tutorial and I've seen Emily and Katie um, from Primrose do um, a tutorial with these. And basically they're tiny little hoops and you can stitch and then you can finish, um, use them to finish, and then you can 
use them as like a scissor fob charm or you can use them as like a project bag charm or something like that. So these are really cute. Um, I've seen some people were having difficulty finding them. I found them on the um, DMC aisle at Hobby Lobby. Um, on the right hand side where all the hoops are, they were just kind of on a little peg with um, with a row of these. And I think they also had some ones that were a little bit bigger but they were oval shaped. But um, these were super cute and they were $2.49. Okay, a couple patterns and then we'll wrap it up. I got Witch's Night Out from Brenda Gervais. And I think Brenda Gervais' Halloween charts are just so cute. They're so primitive and um, they're just classics, I think. Um, I got Bless Our Land by Plum Street. And then I got a few Blackbirds. Um, I got Sweet Home from the Garden Club series. Tulip and Lily. And I want to say, hold on. Was that when I was a oh, Okay. Um, and then I got Stars and Stripes by Brenda, or yeah, by Brenda Gervais. So, anyway, lots of stuff to stitch on. I'm really itching to stitch this. And I almost thought about doing some um, fall pieces for Mania. I saw so many people doing patriotic and I honestly didn't see a lot of people doing fall. So I thought fall would be kind of fun to do. Um, but I ended up, you know, going with the bigger, bigger, um, chart. So, um, okay friends. Well, I think that's all I have for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I would love for you to come join me. Um, again, I'm, I am at Mrs. Jones stitches and we'll see you next time. Happy stitching.